Arsenal Football Club are leading the race for Benjamin Sisko, and he is now Arsenal's priority up front, according to an exclusive report from Fabrizio Romano in court offside today. We are going to be going through this deal, plus looking at Chelsea's latest bid for the Brazilian starlet Willian, and could Manchester United be about to knock on the door of Aston Villa for Ollie Watkins this summer. Hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribing. Let's go. Today, we are sponsored by Match Bingo, the premier game to play during EPL matches. You have to be in the UK and over the age of 18, but this is so much fun. It's essentially the game of bingo. You get yourself a bingo card, and then there's a series of match events you need to happen. So instead of legs 11, number 11, you may need Man United, in this case, to make three substitutions at least. If you're the first to get a line, you win. The prize. If you're the first to get two lines, you win a prize. If you're the first to get a full house, you win some cash money. The brilliant part of Match Bingo is that a number of the proceeds go to a charity of your choice. Hit the like and the share button. Please make sure you are subscribing. Let's do it. So, Arsenal, we know they've been on the lookout for a striker for a long time. I was told a few months ago by a journalist that Arsenal's pursuit of a striker will depend upon how many goals they end up scoring this season. It's the most they've ever scored in a Premier League season two years running. But do they need someone that is a prolific number nine or is going to be a prolific number nine? Whether the debate is do they need it or not, the answer is it's always great to have it. Now, this exclusive report from Fabrizio Romano into the Court off, website Court Offside states that Benjamin Sesko is now Arsenal's priority up front with the club ready to pay his 50 million euro release clause. Sources have informed Court, court Offside that negotiations over a four-year contract with the option of a fifth year on top uh, that is progressing well. Now, we have seen them linked. And again, I know there'll be people in the comments and I already know we're nearly three minutes in. Terry said, Ivan, Tony was the priority. Terry said that Isaac was the priority. Well, first and foremost, I didn't say that. We're going on reports and we're gaining your opinion. I'm giving you mine. Isaac may be the priority, but if Newcastle are not going to sell him, Arsenal have to change their priority. This just takes a few ounces of brain capacity to understand it. But Benjamin Sisko is a very, very talented player. 17 goals this season for the young, the young 20-year-old. It's 29, I think it's 29 goals he scored in 79 appearances for RB Salzburg. It's 17 goals in 41 appearances for RB Leipzig. But there's such a technically gifted and physical player here. I really do think Arsenal, I mean, he's a player that I've wanted at Man United for many years. We already have a young starlet that we're developing. So he's probably not right for Manchester United at this point. But for Arsenal, I think it falls into what N Nigel and a few other people were, uh, were informing me weeks and months ago. If Arsenal's goals dried up in the last few months, then they would maybe look to splash a lot of money on the 25, 26, 27-year-old at the peak of his powers at scoring goals. If they continue to score, which they have done, it would be a really solid striker who will add more goals but someone's a little bit cheaper that they can develop and money will then be spent elsewhere. And this appears to be the story. Now, also on top of this, the Telegraph are also reporting that Arsenal are favourites to sign RB Leipzig striker Benjamin Sisko. His release clause, they've said here it's 64 million. It's a slightly different one to what Fabrizio has said. Uh, AC Milan, Chelsea and Manchester United are also interested in him. But Arsenal fans, give us your thoughts, give us your feelings about this potential signing below. Now, staying with Fabrizio Romano, it, this has been shared by Simon Phillips, but it's Fabrizio's story, that Chelsea are prepared to improve their bid for Willian 
and advance their talks um, around uh, with, with the club after personal agrees, uh, personal terms have been agreed. Now, we reported last week that the deal was very close, that the player had agreed terms or was happy with the terms with Chelsea. But a bidding war has essentially started with Bayern Munich so far outbidding Chelsea. Chelsea now looking to go back in to secure the talents of this very, very well-coveted player. For his age, if you read the scouting reports before the Chelsea links, because sometimes you get bias in that. Everybody in Brazil, everybody in South America is raving about him. Numerous teams across the European continent are trying to talk to the agent, trying to talk to the player, talk to the family about bringing his talents in. But it looks right now as though Chelsea are going to up their bid for the second time. The reports suggest that Chelsea are leading the race. And I want to understand, Chelsea fans, how excited are you about bringing this young man in? Now, he wouldn't even be joining straight away. I don't think he's allowed to legally to join until he's 18. But we've seen with Vinicius Juniors how great signing this young Brazilian talent early could be. He is tipped to be somewhere near that level. He is tipped to be an absolute superstar in the game of football. Doesn't always work out that way. We know that. But that's the excitement of young and up and coming players is, wow, what if? And if you have them at your club, you sort of have that advantage. You've got in, you've got, got in and ahead on that talent early. You know, Man United signing Cristiano Ronaldo at 18. What an investment that ended up being. I wonder how the clubs feel that turned down the opportunity or didn't push hard enough to sign Mbappe when he was 16 or 17 because he was available to European clubs. He's now costing Real Madrid. I know he's going to be a free transfer, but he's going to cost Real Madrid a hundred odd million pound plus on signing on fees. So when it comes to young Willie and Chelsea fans, give us your thoughts and your feelings. Now, another interesting story today that Talk Sport have pushed out is that Man United want to sign Ollie Watkins as a 28-year-old fits the profile of player they will be looking to recruit. Now, before you all jump down my throat, I'm going to address whether I think it will happen or not in a minute or so's time. So please refrain from those comments until you've listened to what has been said. I like Ollie Watkins. And a couple of years ago when uh, Tottenham sorry, spent 60-odd million on Richarlison, I remember being cooked, cooked to high heaven, when I said you're better off spending the money on Ollie Watkins. The same people that cooked me for saying that are now stating how brilliant Ollie Watkins is. And they've seen the light. And what's helped Ollie Watkins is that he's now at a club with a very good structure, very good manager. There's great team unity. And all players, generally, generally speaking, players all typically perform better in well-oiled machines than they do a struggling old banger. An old banger is an expression for a busted up car in England. I don't know if you had that expression where you live around the world, but there we go. I would love to see this transfer happen. I think a player like Ollie Watkins actually has a slightly different profile to Rasmus Hoyland. So there's a difference, which means rotating the two of them uh, gives your opponent something different to think about. A great age profile at 28 years of age. We've got some really talented youngsters that I think need some experience around them, but not too old. Not at 32, 33 that you're only going to get a year or two out of. At 28 years of age, he looks a physical specimen still. There's many, many years to come. I would love this deal to happen. The problem, so if you didn't panic and go in the comment section, it's not going to happen. I don't think it will happen. I'd love it to happen. I don't buy the notion that there's no no possibility. Of course, there's a possibility. We are Manchester United. We're at the beginning of a rebuild. There's some amazing stories today coming out. When I say amazing, they're exciting, but I'm pinching myself. I'm not holding my breath because we've been here before about the board, the new board that includes the likes of Blanc. Barada is coming in. Ashworth will be here. Wilcock, they've already started work in terms of talking to the agents and the clubs of players they're interested in because they want to hit the summer fast and hard and quick. So I do think there's the possibility you could sit down with Watkins' people with that, with the with, with the quality of the football decision makers we're going to have and convince him about this project. It's possible, but I don't think it will happen. So although there's a possibility, I don't think it will come to fruition, which is unfortunate which is unfortunate, but 
I hope I'm wrong. I hope Man United can pull off a deal such as this. You add him to that front line. That's a 15 to 20 goal a season player. And if we do improve our style of play next season, which many expect us to, he will benefit and he will be an absolute asset to us. Great speed, great power. One thing that Man United do lack is PMP. Now, I don't just want PMP. I don't just want pace and power. But I'd like some pace and power with some quality and Ollie Wat- with some technical quality. And Ollie Watkins has that in an absolute abundance. So excited about the prospects. But I don't want to hold my breath. I'm not going to get overly carried away on this one. But Man United fans, what do you think? Would he sign for us? Would you take him? Rivals, is he good enough? Can you see it happening? As ever, I want to thank you all for tuning in. It humbles me each and every single day. Make sure you check out Match Bingo. Get it downloaded. Give it a go. You get free cards, actually, still at the moment. Give it a go between now and the end of the season. And honestly, next year, you can have so much fun with it and maybe win a little bit of moolah as well. Listen, take care. Goodbye. God bless. And we'll see you all again soon. Peace.